<laughs> Those crunchies are just so good. See, and then there's tots, and they're still crispy down there. Maybe if I actually pay attention to where I'm filming. So this one is... Yeah, I don't know about the barbecue. Not a huge fan. Try their ranch. With fried chicken, it just is a, like, you know... That's what I mean, I was like, I don't need a... Oh, it comes with breadcrumbs on it, yummy. And then coleslaw is all you. So excited for that. <laughs> oh yeah. Pretty, pretty basic coleslaw, but coleslaw. Coleslaw is coleslaw is coleslaw is coleslaw. Alright, first bite with the ranch. A little tartar sauce, tartar saucy. I've never had tartar sauce, but that's what I would imagine it tastes like. You've never had tartar sauce? Spicy. Whoa. Really? I've never had a spicy coleslaw before. Because mm -mm. it's usually just mayo based. The mac and cheese was pretty good, but it's not super savory. The chicken is amazing. It's good, but yeah, it's like, oh. Oh, I haven't tried a biscuit yet. I definitely have to do that. See, the chicken is just like. It just tastes like KFC to me. Even where you, I mean, it, you got like weird holes and stuff that you would never normally see in chicken, but. But when you pull it, like, if you do, like, a side so good. pull, like this, like, like, that looks like shredded yeah. chicken to me. My man hands, now they're all great. Right. <laughs> Meanwhile, I just want to eat that piece that you ripped apart. At Trio, they had the maple butter cornbread, and this is maple butter biscuit. Yep. What's the rip here? Sparks. It's like goes like A and W, like from A and W to A and W, like from a can, and then Sparks, and then Mug, because Mug is garbage. I don't think you can put A and W and then A and W. <laughs> but A and W from A and W. Well then, because then if I say like for sodas, then I'd rank like Coke fountain, Coke no, bottle, like Coke then Coke can. Coke fountain, Coke bottle, Coke can. All right. So overall. <laughs> Out of 10, how would you raise the chicken? Texture, I would give it... I'd give it well, like okay. an eight and a half. The problem with texture is you gotta do inside outside. So texture on the outside, I'd give it like a nine. Yeah. It, it was really good, but it didn't like have, it didn't have like that skin texture, you know what I mean? Well, cause Which it sounds like, gross as a vegan saying that I want that, but like that's what I wanted, that's what I missed from that fried chicken. You know, is that kind of skinny flavor. This is more crispy, it's not, um, or it's like, yeah. It's crispy gross. and crunchy, no for sure. And that's what I think it's missing for that 10 for me. The inside is probably like a seven for Here, me, I'll just because it is Satan. I'll do Vanna White and I'll like show, okay, now this is the inside. You know? So it's a homemade Satan? Yeah, it's Satan. So, and I'm not a huge fan of Satan, but I did like it, so I would give it a seven. So I guess I would put it at an eight texture. But the flavors, are, oh, yeah, we were doing texture. So texture, I'd give it a total of eight out of ten. If mm -hmm. I combine the inside and outside, nine and seven. So I think I would go like eight and a half. Eight and a half? You're not as big into that skin as no, I am. No, I like the like. crunchy more yeah. so. Flavor-wise, though, I give it like a nine. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Sides? The chicken, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sides, meh. The coleslaw was spicy, which I've just never had before. Biscuit's amazing. Biscuits, I would say, there's nothing wrong with them. They're soft. Yep. They're flaky, they're buttery. That's delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Maple butter, really good. Mac and cheese, it was weird, but like I ate almost all of it and it was good. I think it was kind of like that sharp cheddar, like I was saying. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't super into it, but I'm not a huge vegan cheese person anyway, so it's kind of hard to. They need to for me to serve judge. it with mashed potatoes and gravy. Yes. I think that's just the. How was the ripper flow? Ripper flow's delicious. 
it's all kind of melted. I didn't really eat the ice cream separate. <laughs> and no. then your chocolate shake. My chocolate shake, yeah, it was not a moo based with soy or soy based, so. No. No. Nope. Oat with oat milk. Yeah. Not soy. I'd say that the but shake is good. like a seven. Like I don't want to be super picky because there's no shake options to so get great. from anywhere, you know? Mm-hmm. But Come on, Dairy Queen. The root beer's good. The root beer's pretty good. Yeah. Overall I'd say eight and a half out of ten experience. I would bring my non-vegan family there, especially for the chicken. Absolutely. Or like I'm gonna bring chicken home for like my mom and uh, Jeff to try. But I'm not going to have them try the mac and cheese and coleslaw. Because the coleslaw you also said was spicy. It was spicy. It just wasn't the it wasn't really the coleslaw I was expecting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The tots were good. Yeah. Eight and a half out of ten, I'd say. I'd say. All <laughs> 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 oh, the chicken crunchies off there. Peter 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 Peter. I feel like my stomach is heavy, but it's just all that fried food. And pre-gaming with whoppers. And pre-gamed with a whopper and fries, and then we had fried chicken. So I'm like that's not their fault. Like I would feel heavy after KFC or like Oh yeah, no, I just that's just what you're eating. Yeah. I mean you don't want to eat fried food before you go and eat a bunch of fried food. Yeah.